Today's video is about the makeup that I wear on the days that I am not filming YouTube videos. Have you ever thought about that? Some of you ask from time to time, but very, very few questions do I get. And in today's video, I'm going to show you products that have just but they're not my only favorites, but they're the products that I can reach for every single day, whether I am just going to stay around the house all day, or maybe I'm going to get out and shop or do something. But they're products that I reach for over and over and over. And it's really because I, I have gotten used to the product. I like the results that I'm getting from a particular product, or maybe I like how this works with this. It can be any number of reasons why I reach for particular products on most days. And although you see me showing a lot of Get Ready With Me's using a lot of different products, again, the products I'm going to show you today are just, I would not even call them my Desert Island products, but they're just products that I know I can depend on. And there's a couple of surprises in there for me when I started really looking at what I reach for. So, so hang on, because today is going to be about these products that I reach for every single day that I'm not filming. And I'm just going to do 2023. And again, some of these are older products. Some of them I just discovered back in the summer, but I'm reaching for them almost every single day. And again, the reason I have so many products is because I review them for you. All right, so I'm just going to start in the order that I put product on. I, and this is makeup. I'm not talking about primers. I'm t and skincare, I'm talking of, and sunscreen, I, but I am talking about just the makeup, the full face of makeup that I wear. The, the first thing is foundation. And I have to tell you, this has been a total shock to me. Back in the late spring, early summer, I worked with Bare Minerals. Uh, on helping to introduce their brand new original pure serum foundation. It's their Radiant Natural Liquid Foundation. They asked me when they were, were sending me product, they asked me to get two different shades of the foundation. So I, per, I, I had them send me the Medium Warm 3 and the medium neutral three because you know looking at the colors online and that's all i had to work with these both of these colors look like they would work for my skin because i truly believe if the foundation is a, a lighter or even just a little bit darker you can work with it with powders and bronzers and blushes you can sort of tune it and tweak it to make it work as it turned out I can wear either one of these colors. Now, again, Bare Minerals does not know I'm doing this video today. They have no idea. I really have had no contact with them since I did that video. But these, I reach for one of these probably two or three days out of the week, and I never even bother to look to see what color it is. I just pick one up. And that's what I use. The reason I love it so much is that it's full coverage. I like full coverage foundation. It it covers all of the stuff that's going on on my face. The sunspots mainly. I don't have to use a separate concealer because it does cover with one application. Um, and I like it because it dries down almost instantly. I do not have to powder it. And I, anytime I can get by with not powdering, I'm going to not powder. 
So I reach for these two. Now I will tell you one, another one that totally shocked me because I can't tell you how many years it's been since I wore a L'Oreal foundation. And this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation and I'm in color N5. Whoops. And I feel the same way about this. I don't. It's full coverage on me. It dries down pretty fast. It covers all those sunspots, everything. I don't have to use a separate concealer. Don't have to use powder. I, I like the consistency of it. I just like it. So almost every single day, I pick one of these. I, every once in a while, I will grab something if we have a special event we're going to. You know, I might try a different foundation and, and different everything. But if I'm just going in in the morning to get dressed real quick and get presentable, those are the foundations that I've been reaching for since I first discovered them. Again, I like a lot of foundations, but for some reason, those are the ones that I gravitate to. I've been gravitating to this concealer since I used it. And it's going back to the Bare Minerals. When I worked with them, I tried this for the first time, and it's the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. Part of it is the color, I think. It's the shade, and I'm in shade, let me look here, very fair. And I have these horrible dark circles and the puffies, and there's something about this shade for me that just that works better than anything else. I have the Shape Tape. I have NYX. I can't remember the name of them, but I, I have several concealers that are in tubes just like this with the doe foot applicator. They are similar in color to this, but there is just something about this shade that I really like. And I mean, I've gotten all of those concealers and I hold them up and I look at them. It's, it, it really is not the, the consistency of it or how it covers, it's the color. That's why I reach for this. We're all different. I always say not every product is for every person. Uh, we can all wear a lot of the same things, but just because something works for me, even though you may think you have my coloring, it may not work on you. We don't know until we try. And I will tell you, I've, you can take makeup back most places now if, you, if it doesn't work for you for any reason. Okay, so that's my foundation and my concealer. We're going to go next to eyes. Uh, I'm going to jump around here, but this is sort of the order that I put my makeup on in. And for a long time now, I have been using just any black eyeliner, any black, it, it, a pencil, a gel, a roll-up. This happens to be the Bare Minerals, but it's, it's not because the Bare Minerals is the one I'm going to always go to, but just black because I do the tight line underneath my eye. And for me, most of them stay on pretty good. You know, they just stay on. And by the way, with this foundation, it lasts. I'm, unless, I don't care what I wear. If I'm gonna go out that night, I'm always gonna freshen up my makeup. It lasts for as long as I need it to last. So anyway, that, the black, just any black. You've probably seen me use this eyeliner several times, and I love this. This is Nicole Beauty, and many of you follow Nicole here on YouTube. She has a huge channel, but she also has a makeup line, and this is her eyeliner, and it's a pencil eyeliner, as you can see, and it is called Plum, and I saw Nicole use this in one of her videos and ordered it, and I actually, I I, I actually went through that pencil. This was a couple of years ago, maybe. And when I reordered it, I ordered two. So I still have a backup of this one. And you can tell it was much longer. It was probably like that. And I use that on my lower. I use a little bit of black, usually, on my lower waterline. And then I use this on top of it. Love it. 
love it. Thank you, Nicole. Um, eyeshadows. If I had to pick one eyeshadow palette that I reach for almost every single day, and you've seen it in many, many, many videos, it's the Milani Gilded Mini, and that's what it looks like. This one, I have pretty much worn it out. It, you can see which colors I like. Whoops. I like this one. I don't know what colors these are. This one. And this. Every once in a while, I'll use this one right here. Whoop, this one right here. And to maybe do a little lining with. But, and I only discovered this probably within the last six months. I'm not a fan of the great big palettes that have 159 pans of color in them. I'm just not. I could tell you about so many palettes I've bought over the years, and I only use maybe two or three shades, and I use those shades over and over and over again. And I just don't buy those anymore. I haven't in a long time because it's just totally wasteful for me, and they take up a lot of room. So I love this little Milani Gilded Mini, and I was going to buy another one. And if you saw a recent video, you saw that I was in Memphis staying with my sister, and I was getting dressed uh, in her bathroom at her little vanity, and I happened to see this palette in the drawer that was open there, and I picked it up. I loved the colors. I can't tell you the last time I wore a Maybelline or purchased Maybelline eyeshadows, but this was the Blush Nudes by Maybelline. I think this has been around, for, well, I know it's been around for a long time, but this is what it looks like. And these are the colors. And you can see I've been using this quite a bit. I will tell you that I was a little bit disappointed with this. I thought I was going to love it when I bought it, and that's the reason I bought it. I used this, I think, every single day I was there, and I was there... Flew in on Thursday, left on Monday morning, so I wore it every day I was there. And I just loved the colors. I loved the way they applied. I loved the payoff I was getting. So I came home, and that was the first thing I did is I went, when I went to Walgreens, I went to Walmart. I went to Walmart, and I purchased this little palette, and I started using it. And I thought, yeah, this is okay. And then... Uh, after using it a few times, it was mm, not, it, I just, it just didn't. My palette was not as easy to apply and use as hers was. And I said something to her about it, and she said, well, Patty, I've had that thing for many years, and so maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just going to have to use it and use it and use it. Uh, to get it broken in. I don't know. It's starting to get better. This is what I'm wearing today. This palette. And so I, I've really stopped reaching for this one recently. And I've been reaching for this. I like small palettes because they're easy to travel with too. Alright, so we've done, for eyes, we've done liners, we've done shadows, we're going to do mascara. And I have to tell you that I am not picky about mascara. Some of you know, because you've been watching me for a long time, but I use the Revital Lash Growth Serum. And I love this. I have been using this for about two and a half or three years. I even did a video on it year, uh, a long time ago where I tried different ones. I tried one on one eye, this on one eye and another one on the other eye. And then I would try another one on this eye. You know, I would go through long periods, three months or so, just to see if I was getting any growth. Nothing was comparing to this. None of the other ones that I tried. So I made up my mind I was going to stick with this. Now, when I tell you this is pricey, it's pricey. But one of these will last me a year 
because you use just a small amount. Every night, I just brush it, you know, right up on my lid where my lashes grow. Just do a little swipe, and that's all I use it. I, I put a sticky label on this to tell me that I started, I opened this one in September of this past year. And I know this is going to last me a year. So that's how I can justify uh, spending, I think, just normal price on this now. The last time I looked was around $125. And some of you would never pay that. And I get it. I understand it. But it means I don't have to worry about mascaras that are expensive. I can use inexpensive mascaras. I like a mascara that is dry. I do not like a wet mascara. I like any mascara much better after I've used it for a month or so. It gets just about right for, right for me. Uh, this is the Essence Princess False Lash mascara. Okay, this is, but this, you know, I I like to only have one mascara opened at a time because they're really only good for about three months, but, you know, it's safe. You, I know we don't always uh, swap them out, but I'm not picky about the brush. I'm not picky about uh, the formula as long as it's not really wet because... I'm using this. My eyelashes are are a good length. I'm I'm I don't want the long, thin, spidery lashes that come up to my eyebrows. That's not who I am. I would like for my lashes to be thick, full, not thick, but full, and have just enough length to them. And so my mascara, as long as it's a dry mascara, that's all I care about. Bending my brush. I've said this a million times. I think I saw this in Glamour magazine probably back in the 70s. But I, not every single mascara brush will bend, but most of them will. You want to be real careful if you've never done it before. Pull your mascara brush out until you get right to the brush. See? So get it back in there and then just... What I do is I just barely nudge it like this to see if it'll bend. And the reason I bend it is because I can do just like this. Some of us have mobility problems. I'm good, I don't, but I still like being able to do this or this. I'm not out like this trying to do my mascara. I can just prop my elbow right here on my table and do my mascara. So any mascara will do for me. I have no favorites. Okay, brows. All right. What do you think my off-camera favorite brow product would be? I have a lot. I've shown you a lot. Those of you who've been around for a while, I know you know. It's the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And this one has the fat lead. I know, I know they have one now that has the real tiny, thin lead. And you can see, I am, that is the end of that. But I have a backup. But I know that e.l.f. has come out with a new one that's in this instant brow lift label, and I'm anxious to try it. I think the brush is smaller, the spoolie is smaller, but this works. This works for me. It's the one I always reach for because I know it's gonna be easy. I can just whip it on. Love it. Okay, let's go back to our face and for my bronze, when I wear a bronzer or any kind of a contour, I reach invariably for the e.l.f. contour palette. And I don't use this every day, but when I do, this is what I use. 
Let me reach over there and get a brush. Normally what I do, it's you can probably tell it's these two that I go for. And I'll just brush across them like that and then just whatever I'm going to do. So easy. And I, listen, I am almost hitting pan on, the, on this one. No, I am almost hitting pan on this one. Can you see it? There's a big old dip there. For blush, again, I reach for this. Listen, this has <laughs> this has every color I could ever want all in one little compact. And I don't know. I rarely wear this one, but I wear this and this a lot. Rarely, rarely wear this one. Mainly these two. And sometimes I do this. Make it quick and easy. Then, to top it all off, I use a setting spray. And I have been using this for so long. I finally, this year, early on, invested in a Charlotte Tillsbury, the Charlotte Tillsbury setting spray. And I liked it. I really did. And I didn't like that I liked it because it's pricey. But I can't remember who I saw use this on a video and I decided to try it. And I'm this is probably my third or fourth bottle of this this year. It's the Milani Make It Last Original. And it's the Natural Finish Setting Spray. And I know Milani has other setting sprays, but this is the Make It Last Original. To me, this compares right, right there with the Charlotte Tillsbury. It's a pretty fine mist. And I truly believe it helps my makeup to last. I read something a couple of months ago about a new way to use a setting spray. And it was genius. And I've been doing it. When I wear any kind of a shirt that has a collar where you would get makeup on your collar, you take your setting spray and you spray your mist your collar. Or for sure, if you don't want to miss your collar, you make sure you spray where on your neck, more than likely, is going to transfer onto your shirt or your top. And it will stop the transfer. And I've been doing that. And I'm not saying that it stops at 100%, but I'm telling you, it's not nearly as bad as it used to be because, you know, I put makeup on my neck so that it just try. I try to blend it all in, down, and, and I'm always getting makeup on my collars. That has helped a lot. Now, lips. Oh, I know most of you who have watched me for any length of time at all, you already know, I reach for this almost every single day. It's the CoverGirl Color Last Lip Stains. I love these. You, they come in a duo. And I have a lot of different colors of these. They apply with a doe foot. This is what I have on today, which is 585. And, you know, I just put it on. And I wait for it to dry, to completely dry. And then I use the lip balm that comes with it. And it stays. I hate putting on makeup. I have so many tubes of lipstick and lip liners. But if it's, if it's just my every day, I want it. I don't want to have to be reapplying lipstick. And yet I want a little bit of color. I know I can depend on this. I know I can. Uh, some people think it's drying. I guess I've worn it so long that if it's drying, it doesn't 
I don't feel like it's drying. I do reapply the the uh, top coat, the, the gloss, maybe once or twice during the day if I remember to do it. But I really do like this. It's just it's just a favorite. Probably always will be. I have my little list and I I think that's it. I want to thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. We are into a new year and there's so many there are so many exciting things going on. I have oh, I have a uh, I have just lists of videos that I want to do that, that I hope you'll enjoy watching too. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. Every time you subscribe, every time you hit that bell, every time you give me a thumbs up, the algorithm knows it and it will put my videos out to more and more people so that our YouTube family can continue to grow and grow and grow. Okay, don't forget to be kind. Be kind to yourself first so that you can be kind to others. Know that I love you, and I'll see you soon.